a devotion on Mark chapter 10, verses 35 to 45. How would you describe them, those disciples? Blind? Oblivious? Thoughtless? Clueless? Sickly self-absorbed? Jesus says that he's going to suffer and he's going to die. And it's almost as if they completely dismiss it. They gloss over it like they don't even hear it. We'd like positions of authority. Wow. Wow. You know, we on the outside looking in, we who have the benefit of history and knowing that whole story, uh, we would never act like these guys. We would never be blind, oblivious, thoughtless, clueless, sickly, self-absorbed. But actually, I think it does describe quite well a few people that I hear about or I see in the news or on television. It describes some people that I personally know. And I'm sorry to say, it describes me sometimes. A blind, oblivious, thoughtless, clueless, sickly, self-absorbed person. But Jesus is calling us to a new way, a new way of life. We're called to be different because we are called to serve in feeding the hungry, in visiting the sick, in spending time with the lonely, in nurturing children, in sharing the good news by word and deed. God calls all of us to serve. And a call to serve is the total opposite of being a blind, oblivious, thoughtless, clueless, sickly, self-absorbed person. God calls us to serve in spite of our shortcomings and complaints, in spite of our excuses and our weaknesses. He calls us to serve, always with a promise of his presence, always with a promise of his power. He equips, he encourages, he empowers. And then he shows us that one who came as a servant. That, who, that one who came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many.